You can talk if you want. I was just catching the bird sound. Look how green the trees are. Oh, hello. Yeah. So we are here, and we're going to go up Pinch Gut Track to Bushline Hut. Then tomorrow we are going to go from Bushline Hut, come back along Pinch Gut, and then go along the Robert Ridge route. Should take about six Holy hours. Holy crap! <laughs> and then we will go back down to the Cascade Track. But we are going to go down here, and hopefully it's safe to cross the river to get to Lakehead Hut. If it's not, then we'll be staying in a very crusty hut. Then um, once the day after we've got to Lakehead, we will walk down all the way down here to St. Arnold and go home. Some kind of weevil, I think. Giant weevil. It's huge. He's pretending to be dead. Oh no, here he goes. He thinks I'm stupid. Is it St. Arnold? I think that's St. Arnold. It makes sense. Yay! A shady bit. Trina's going to check out Alec elevation when we get into the shady bit. So you reckon according to your topographic map thing, you reckon we're about a thousand meters? Yeah. And St. Arnold is meant to be 650 meters. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A view of the lake. St. Arnold down there still. And you know we're going to walk along there on the last day? Yeah, we're walking a lot, a lot right along that bit, eh? Along the lake's edge. Yeah. Oh, that, that, over that side? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, we're walking over the far side on the last day, day four. St. Arnold Range? St. Arnold Range. Oh, that one. St. Arnold Range. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Plane. <sighs> she just told me that we've only been walking for an hour on a three hour walk. Tomorrow is a six hour walk, and the day after that's a six hour walk, and then another three hour walk. One hour out of oh, what's that? 18 hours, and we're probably going slow, so it's probably like 20 hours. <laughs> so, Tarina has informed me that our current elevation is 1200. So, we've climbed 200 meters since we last looked well in terms done. of elevation. Eh? Well done. <laughs> Ooh! See where they cleared the trees off the track. Uh, are we coming out into the open again or is that just a lookout? Oh, okay. Here we've got view. Oh, yeah, there's a view. You want to stop here for lunch? Yeah, that's weird. Looks like some kind of prostrate totara. 
weird. Wonder what that is. Must be related to toys, I don't know. Anyway. What are you taking a photo of? Ah, Jersey, much better. Are you feeling Tarina? Well, let's speak louder because of the wind. A nice pleasant breeze. that shelter that uh, we've been hearing about from people passing us. I don't know the name of it though. Relax Shelter. Relax. It's tomorrow. There's snow on the hills and frost in the gullies where winters are keen and the air tastes like wine. My heart feels the pull of the wind in the tussock calling me back to the mountains again. down there somewhere. What hut's that then? Oh, the ranger's hut. Oh. See a bit of snow up there now. Hello, Wicker. Hopefully, 
nobody feels like going on an ex-murdering spree tonight. Looks like the toilet's down there with an alpine view. <laughs> Mm, oh gee, it'd get hot in here in summer, oh. but it would be nice in here if it was a sunny day in winter. Okay, let's have a look at the hut. Are we going to be the only ones here? I hope not. I, that, that's half the fun of doing this is meeting people that you've never met before. Well, I'm sure we meet people at Angela's hut. Look, the, the bunks look nice though. They look quite new. There were lots of them. Look, there's, there's, a, there's a thing on the back too where you can put your stuff. Oh, cool. Because um, I think last time, um, oh, people have been cutting down um, living trees for firewood. Oh, ah. well, you want to really get that good a view from the toilets because the thing's facing that way. Unless there's a window on the side. No, you don't get a view from here. You know, after you've taken a dump, you can come out here and have a nice view. Or, you could just, if you're a guy, you could just leak off the side here, and then that's your view there. But don't tell Doc how stinky are they. Okay. <laughs> this actually isn't so bad by uh, Kiwi Long Drop standards. It's not actually too bad. Playing on your phone? Have you got reception up here? Or are you just looking at your? Oh, okay. What time is it? Almost seven o'clock. Um, six twenty-two. Oh, half. Oh my God, twenty past six. Still two and a half hours to sunset. There you go. Uh, it's the end of the day. Uh, we're about, oh, what is it about? I think it's about half past eight now, and um, I'll just try to go where the wind's not blowing. Uh, we're better in here. Um, um, some more people did show up, so we're not alone. Good morning everybody. Well, it's quarter past six in the morning and the sun is coming up. There's a bit of a frost on the ground, so that must have dipped below zero last night. And I got a headache. Whoa, crap. Slipping on the frosty frostiness.
Bye bye, Bushline Hut. Have a nice life. Okay. I didn't help clean up. Uh, there's that hut that tricked us yesterday. Kia Hut, it looks like it's called. Here we are. We're at the point we were well, yesterday. Well, it takes hut, nine kilometres. Uh, four and a half hours. So it's going to take us six hours. From May to November, winter conditions including ice, deep snow, See, all the people watching this video who live in the Northern Hemisphere are going to be like, what, made in November? Is it? <laughs> but, yeah. But we're in December now, which is the end of spring and the start of summer, so we're fine. Right? Yep. The famous painting by Theodore Kittleson. Do you feel proud? No, she stay there for the rest of the trip. <laughs> We're almost to the top of this bit here. And then we'll check our elevation. Uh, what did you say our elevation was right now? One five six zero. Yeah. Fifteen hundred and sixty Really strange looking alpine plant. Little hexagons in there. Helicopter dropped off. They are Waratahs for making more poles. I wonder if it's one plant or is it a few plants? Or right. uh, very, very rocky terrain now. Oh, this is what we're having to clamber over.
we've decided to have a break next to the snow. Snow! You can actually feel it with the temperature of it. Ooh, it's quite, it's not actually hard snow either, it's quite soft. <laughs> yeah, there you go, you can see why this bit stayed around for a while, look how thick it is there. Balancing, aren't they? No, they're for holding my camera. <laughs> oh, man. oh, mountains. Oh, there's more snow. Oh, that's quite a good view. Oh, oh gee, look at that tarn down there. Mm. So bluey, greeny. Turquoisey. Holy crap. See where we're walking on right now. Very rocky. Guess what? what? I'm gonna walk across the snow. Yeah, but if it's anything like that, you can get a hole. <laughs> anything like what? Well, somebody else has walked across. I've got, I've got across quickly. <laughs> yeah, I'm following this person's footprints. <laughs> so, like a hole like that. Gee, it's bright. Luckily, I got my sunglasses on. Whoa. Oh. <sighs> My way is more fun than yours. <laughs> that wasn't a very good splooge, was it? No. Uh, oh crap! Oh crap! Oh! Uh, I nearly died. See how far it sinks in there? That's quite. A bit. Just. Yeah. Let's not come up here during winter. I'll probably die. Just imagine trying to walk through that rocky terrain with all that snow and there's like there's like big gaps in the rocks or there's a big pointy rock and you don't know. I'm not jumping in it though. <laughs> Jump in it. No, I don't want to. <laughs> it's a good thick bit though, eh? That's the coolest grasshopper I've ever seen. It's like an alpine. It must be like one of the, some kind of alpine grasshopper.
see if we can make it jump. Well, that's a cool shot with the mountains in the background. You know, more, lots of these little grasshoppers around. I'm not sure if it's the same kind as one we saw before or not. Yeah, I think she's asleep. They look, are they the same kind? They probably are. That's probably just different, you know. Maybe it's girls and boys or something. That's a weird plant. Some more interesting plants. Almost looks like a succulent of some kind. Hmm. Look at them. And here we have the Terinarus annoyingus in her natural alpine habitat. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh boy. Such rocky terrain. More of these alien alpine plants. What? So weird. Pass that time. We're gonna pass another little valley. Oh, there's another town. Another one. Here's that noisy helicopter again. Oh, we're hauling stuff in. I thought you said your right arm was injured. Yes. That's why you can't. Why are you trying to throw it with it then? It's not that badly injured. It's just like it's sort of hurts a little. There's a, there's a fair bit down there actually. It's like injured in the same way your legs are injured. Oh, my, they weren't injured. I just I just did, did, did leg day at the gym too close to hiking day. <laughs> Yeah, oh, we're going up, oh, up there. Well, I, I guess so, because that's where the, um, orange thing is. Up there, look. Oh. Oh, well. Sorry, guys, going to have to put my camera away. Otherwise, I'll die. Holy crap. Look where we've got to go now. She's just disappeared up behind there. But, hmm. I don't fancy this track very much. So approximately our current elevation is around about 1780. Yes, something like that, 1780. 1788 or 1790. Almost 1800. Mm. Oh, there's a bit of snow there. Oh, a good bit of snow there. And another tarn down there. Right above me. Oh, it's noisy. Where's it gone? There. See much up there? 
See much up there? Not exactly tranquil at the moment with that helicopter, but oh well. Inside the hut, There's a couple of two bunk rooms. Kitchen. Wash myself, wash myself, wash you, wash you, wash myself. Oh no, oh no, no, that's enough. <laughs> You know, uh, both of those lakes had signs of them saying it's a delicate ecosystem, so don't wash your dishes on them. So I wonder if I wonder if I've been lied to, and you're not actually allowed to swim in either of them. Uh, well, I hope I haven't done anything I'm not supposed to. I apologise if I have, but I won't be swimming in that lake because I've been told you're not allowed to. So I definitely won't be swimming in there. Plus, it looks even colder than this one. But what have you, eh? What of you?